have the most delightful pattern for you today, perfect for wearing while strolling through magical secret meadows. And the true magic of this shawl is that it is super beginner friendly. In fact, I feel like anyone can do it. And the really cool thing about this design is it can be a scarf, it could be a shawl, or you could even turn it into a blanket. It just depends on how long you make your starting chain. We made this pattern in our upcycled limited edition Restore DK yarn, and I so love all the color shifts throughout. And this original version, which is so vivid and juicy, was made in our soft and squishy and bouncy resilient sock yarn. And before we get into the tutorial, I did want to let you know that we also had this gorgeous Multnomah poncho remade for you in that same Restore DK yarn. So if you knit, feel free to download the updated version of this one as well. And we do have a video tutorial on how to make the Multnomah if you would like to check that video out. Both patterns and the yarn is available at expressionfiberarts.com. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates because we do weekly free knit and crochet patterns and you don't want to miss out on those. So here's how you work this incredibly easy beginner shawl pattern. So we're going to start with a chain and I'm going to do a chain 10 and make sure this is not too tight. Any even number is fine. Depends on if you want a scarf or a shawl or a blanket. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. For row 1 we're going to start by working a single crochet into the second chain from our hook and then it's super simple, nice and easy setup row. You're just going to work a single crochet into each chain across. So you should end up with an odd number of single crochets when you're finished. So just continue working until you reach the end. And that row is complete. For row two, we're going to start with a chain one and we're going to work one single crochet into this back loop of the first stitch. So just turn your little piece around and work only into that back loop of the first stitch and work a single crochet. Then you're going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and into the back loop only of the next stitch, work a single crochet. And then just continue repeating that across. Chain one, skip one, work one single crochet into the back loop only of the next stitch, chain one, skip one, single crochet into the back loop of the next stitch, all the way across. Chain one, skip one, and then into that final stitch, single crochet into the back loop. For row three, we're going to start with a chain one and you're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of that first stitch. So just into the back loop. And then same thing, you're going to work one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch all the way across. And the reason we're working into the back loop only is it helps to create a nice little ridged effect to our shawl or our scarf, so it gives it a little bit of texture. So continue working all the way across, back loops only, work into that final stitch, and there's that row. So here's what you should have so far. So you just continue repeating rows two and three until you love the size. And if you would like to change colors like we did, it's super simple. So when you want to change colors, you can, and especially for the larger sections, just cut your old color, leave about six inches, and then pick up your new color and start working. And that's totally fine. But if you have these smaller sections, you're just gonna carry the yarn up the side. So let me show you what I like to do. So start your final stitch, but don't finish it. Go ahead and drop that color. Pick up your other color and just pull it up the side, leaving it kind of loose. You don't want it too tight or your edge will pucker. And you're gonna finish that final stitch with your new color. And you're all set up, ready to go to start your next row. And of course, adding fringe really takes projects up a knot. So just cut a strand of yarn twice the length that you want your fringe to be. Then you're gonna go ahead and double it. And just apply it to the end of your shawl. And continue on down. And voila, a beautiful shawl to wear while strolling through secret meadows and magical forests. Happy crocheting, my friend, and I will see you next week with a very special video that you won't want to miss. I will see you then. Bye-bye.